Speaking at a meeting with party chairpersons and permanent secretaries in Dar es Salaam, President Magufuli questioned why some human rights organizations keep quiet when the public resources are being stolen from the people. There are others who are complaining and claiming that we are harassing them to human rights organizations because we are openly mentioning them so they had more of a right to openly steal from Tanzanians. They stole from Tanzanians in the open and we must report them openly. The hardship experienced by Tanzanians because of the theft of those few, they must also go through the hardship. So if it is a matter of human rights, are there human rights only for rich people and none for those who were stolen from? President Magufuli said measures taken by the government to hold unscrupulous public servants accountable have resulted in savings of millions of shillings and cited the example of ghost workers, which is said have now reached more than 7,700 people. Up to today, our records show that non-existent employees we have removed from the register are more than 7,700, and investigations are still ongoing. You can see that if there are non-existent employees at this level in the government, all this money being paid billions of shillings could have gone into health services. They could have gone to hospitals, built schools, increased salaries of actual officials, built roads, and much more. This has become the trend, and that is why I said the time has come for us to deal with these people. President Magufuli called on party members and leaders to work together in bringing about development in the country and not to let campaign friction stand in the way. I asked my fellow leaders of CCM because campaigns are finished and I have said the past is the past. We reached a point of not trusting each other. Once we build such a tendency in the party, we will be killing the party and no one will benefit. Today, we are here because we are all family that love each other. And that is why I emphasize to my fellow leaders that we should not open old wounds. We should pray for them to rest in peace. Vice President Samia Sulu Hassan called for accountability of party members who violate party ethics and conduct and called for the cooperation supporting the government on its development agenda. We have trusted us and placed us here. You have given us the responsibility of running the country. I want to say we will not let you down. You have seen our speed and the steps we are taking. We ask for your support. If we make moves on the top, then you should also begin at the bottom. And with every region I go to speak, I speak to party leaders. I started with Gaeta. I went to Tanga. And the other day, I went to Morogoro. And that will be my speed whenever I have a chance.